everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at you. And so today I just wanted to talk about maturing and growing in the Lord and what it can really look like. And I was just... Um, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching um, Isaiah, our baby. He was, um, he's already crawling crazy. Seven months old and, on... February 12th, yeah, which is basically two days ago. Yeah, and so he's crawling and actually already pulling to stand. and He held on to my knee with one hand, and he was just standing there. Yeah, I'm while like... While he was grabbing something and putting it in his mouth. I'm like, oh my God, look at this. Yeah. He grows so fast. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so we're like, okay, wow, you're going to be walking here in like a month or two. <laughs> Probably a month. But anyway... Or less. He, as he was... <laughs> right before he was really able to like crawl... He started, he would get frustrated, you know, he's, he's been learning all these different things, but he would just sometimes just kind of start crying because he could see what he wanted, but he wasn't getting there. I mean, today's Wednesday, right? Last Wednesday at this time, he couldn't even army crawl well. Yeah. He would like go a little bit and, and then he would get, that's when he would get frustrated because he was like, I don't know how to keep going. Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And now here we are this week, and he's already crawling. And I mean, he's a master crawler as far as, as yesterday. Yeah. I mean, he was official. I mean, he'd go from one end of the room to the other. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, you didn't even army crawl well last week. Yeah. And now you're like full-on crawling. What in the world? Yeah. And so I'm just Results thinking... not typical. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just thinking about just how that relates so much mm -hmm. to our growth and maturity in the Lord. And so much of the time, like, God is, he's maturing us, but we have these moments of just frustration. Mm -hmm. And because you know, like, it's like, oh, Lord, this hurts. Like, I know I have to go beyond where I am, but it's painful through the process. And, and so you can and just... we actually have to volunteer ourselves yeah. for it. We yeah. have to want whatever is in front of us, like with the baby crawling. He's wanting something in front of him, and mm -hmm. he's just like, I want to go get it. Otherwise, he'll just be happy to just sit there. Yeah. You know? And and so it's like, I think a lot of times, though, you can get frustrated in, in the moment or frustrated with what's going on, and it's just like, ah. And you can think that, man, I'm failing. Like, I'm right. supposed to be this... <laughs> really mature person and I'm just not like this is not it's not working like I thought this would be different mm -hmm. but it's in those moments that you really are actually growing yeah and Come I've on. experienced that a lot it's so true. <laughs> you know You've just so many massively since we've been here in Nashville I mean I'm talking like Isaiah type growth where mm -hmm. it's just accelerated and just yeah, that's a hard program, you know, when you, yeah. when you get put on the, because there isn't actually a, an accelerated workout program that you can put yourself on, but it's way hard. Yeah. The other programs are hard enough, but when you get on that intense program, it's way harder, yeah. but it also gives you the same, it also it gives, gives you, you the results. The results. If you follow it. Yeah. And the Lord's been making sure that you follow yeah, the he's, program. He's been, he put you on program a while ago, look, he's getting results already, girl. I know. Oh, <laughs> high five, Lord. <laughs> Yeah, and, but but there have been many moments of tantrums and many moments of just crying out like this is too hard. Like I ah, am done. I'm so done. I'm not believing in anything anymore. And then it's I'm like, not hearing from God. No more prophetic words ever. And then it's like you know you cool off and it's like okay no I really do want all of that Lord like please. Don't. But I think the important part is, like, God is our coach. He knows what we're going through. Yeah. And he's our coach, but he's also our friend. And and so he's, he's right there with us. But the truth is, he is not, I think for, like, for myself a lot of times, I'm thinking, man, God is upset at me now because I got angry at him and I got, oh, yeah. you know, I, I'm just Pack your bags. upset. and. Yeah. And so, but the truth is, God's not upset. He really is not. And and I know, like you, you got a picture, and it. And a lot of times, like I've, I could tend to just start accusing God, and, and it's not good to accuse the Lord, obviously. But 
at the same time, like, you got a picture, and you know, he was just like, because he, he, you always say, like, well, you're putting God on the witness stand, you know? But yeah. it was like, God was just sitting there going, mm hmm oh, yeah. Like, yeah. kind of like, I'm... he was I'm, smiling about I'm it. Just, he was like, I'm okay, cool, you. you know, all right, what, what other questions you got? Yeah, yeah. What else you want to throw at me? <laughs> Go <Because> ahead. <laughs> he's not phased by it. He's not, he's like, all right, because I think he knows God knows what he's put you on, the program. Mm -hmm. And he knows you have to go through this step to get to where you need to be. And so he is not, he's not sitting there saying, oh my gosh, how could you, res you know, what? that is not right. You need to, you know. Well, and if you're a personal trainer, you go through that. Yeah. You, you, you work with someone long enough and you start to get to know them and they start feeling comfortable enough to be like, they, they have some tantrums sometimes. Yeah. They, they, I mean, look, you watch Biggest Loser. Yeah. If anybody's ever watched a full season of Biggest Loser, boom, yeah. there you go. Yeah. I mean, people are melting down, having, and it's and, like, and you got to really. They can get mad at their, at the trainers. Yeah, at and Bob they're or just like, or something. Oh, yeah. You guys are, it's. Uh. <laughs> You're doing this to me. <laughs> it's like, uh, well, you actually volunteered for it because there's something in front of you that you're trying to get to. Yeah. And see, what they said, what did Jillian Michael, she said, half my job as a uh, personal trainer is a psychologist. Yeah. Because you just got to get their minds right and mm -hmm. keep the things and remember what your goal is. Remember yeah. why you got into this in the first place mm -hmm. because you can lose sight of that. Yeah. yeah. And so I just, I just, I guess I wanted to bring out that, you know, as we're maturing in the Lord, it's not this like, oh, I, I, I God reveals something to me and I'm just going to walk out perfectly in it you know mm -hmm. it really is like there there is a wrestling because you're really <laughs> fighting against yourself and and dying to yourself yeah. and and the ways renewing your <clears throat> mind and and it's like it's okay it's okay to have these moments of frustration it's okay to to you know go through that because when you're consistently f just going after God, you're going to see results. You know, you could be crying in tears, walking on a treadmill, <laughs> you but know, you're still but walking. you're still walking. You're still on <clears throat> that treadmill. Yeah. And, you know, as you keep going, because, you know, a lot of times, some people, they love working out, some people don't. But it's like, all right, I have this goal in front of me that I want to get to. And I'm going to, you know, maybe wake up one morning and it's like, oh, my gosh, I do not want to get on this treadmill again. This has been so hard and so difficult. And, you know, you're focused on the negative because that's usually what happens. And it's like, I haven't had you know, the results that I want. And things just aren't happening fast enough. And but you know what? And, and maybe you literally are in tears, but you go to the gym and you get on the treadmill and you do the workout that you're supposed to, you know, that has been set out before you. Well, and that's why a lot of times you got to take that before picture. Yeah. Because the before picture, you take that before picture, it's like, oh, you're not getting results? Okay, well, let's look at the before picture. It's like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay, I changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I am getting... <laughs> Yeah. some results and it's like you got to have that picture of yourself as well mm -hmm. it's like well what were you like three months ago and it's like oh okay well maybe i am changing you know yeah maybe there is some change or you know you just got to take it in stride and know that it's going to be a process yeah it's gonna take some time there, a lot of times you get the revelation that's god's just that's his invitation to allow him to work in your life yes. Because after you get the revelation, it's like, oh, I got the revelation. That's awesome. Okay, now it's time to work. Work? What do you mean work? I got the revelation. I got it, right? Yes, you have the revelation that there is work to be done. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, now we're going to start walking in this peace thing. Now we're going to start walking in this joy thing. Now yeah. we're going to start walking mm -hmm. in this I am the righteousness of Christ, you know, thing. We're going to start walking in it. And that's going to start helping us renew our minds and change yeah. the way we see God and ourselves and the world we live in. Yeah. And others, you know. Because God is going to give you plenty of times to practice. Because <laughs> it's like, it's, it's one thing when you're, you're sitting in a comfortable place and you do get the revelation from God. And it's just like, yeah, Lord, I'm, I'm never going to do that again. I'm, I am, yes, like, 
we're, we're going in this brand new direction and then you get hit with things in your life and it's like okay now you can actually practice that and it is it's a lot more difficult when you when you're faced with it but you're getting stronger yeah. you know it's no different than then when you, you know, I think working out is such a great example because, you know, you can be talking to the trainer and they're going through your program and they're like, okay, like, hey, this is, you know, when we do this, you know, when you lift those weights, you're going to get these results. Isn't that awesome? And it's like, yeah, that is awesome. Woo, I'm going to, every, every other day I'm going to be in there, I'm going to be lifting these weights and I'm going to have this awesome result. And then you go to lift the weight. And you're just like, and you're like, oh Jesus, oh <laughs> <laughs> Lord, can you lift my burdens for me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take this, my burdens, this, Lord. <laughs> this yoke is not easy, and it is not light. <laughs> so, oh my God. Uh, so I'm gonna lay down that burden, <laughs> yeah. and I'm gonna take yours. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give all my cares to you, Lord. <laughs> I'm gonna go have a Twinkie, <laughs> a couple of them. <laughs> well, it's like. Who is the uh, most legendary snowboarder out there? Sean White. Sean White. And if you watched the Olympics last night, he proved it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was like, even him, I mean, he's, the, he's a legend. Yeah. You know? And there's a, lots of legends in the entertainment industry and the sports industry. They're legends. But look at his qualifying run was amazing. Yeah. But then he crashed in his uh, the second the second run of of uh, his the actual like the um, this was like the this finals. is for the uh, the finals there you go for the for the gold you know his second run he crashed yeah the legend himself crashed so it's like it doesn't matter because I think it touches on this issue of like you did a video before about when are we going to get to this place where we don't have to fight and contend anymore. Yeah. We think that. And it's the same thing in our maturity in the Lord. We have to give ourselves, we have to allow ourselves to receive of the mercy of God and the love of God and the kind, we have to allow ourselves to, we have to see ourselves in the same way God sees us. Yeah. Because when we do that, we'll, we'll stop being as hard on ourselves when we mess up. Yeah. Recognizing that we are not going to be Jesus. There's only one Jesus. You know what I mean? And God is constantly in the process of, of conforming us to his image. That's Bible. So that means until the day Jesus returns and we're, whatever work is left to be done, boom, it's done by either us dying or his appearing, mm -hmm. then we're done. We're yeah. officially done. But until that time happens, you are not going to arrive to this no. place where you don't have weaknesses and you don't have places where you're like, oh, you slip up here and there, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we just did a parenting video and I, I share a lot of uh, some of my slip ups and failings, but it's like, I don't beat myself up about it anymore. And I don't, I don't go on a guilt trip about it anymore. Mm -hmm. And I don't like, oh God, I'm so sorry. And do my like Christian Hail Marys and you know, yeah. it's, it's pointless when you start to realize like how much God loves you and how, how he sees you. Mm -hmm. Then you can, then you can start to walk the yeah. walk of maturity, recognizing that mm -hmm. it's a process yeah. and there will be bumps and bruises yeah. <laughs> along the way. You, yeah. you, ego, yeah. ego is getting bruised all the time. Well, it's just like a baby when they're first learning how to walk, they fall a lot. They can mm -hmm. bump their heads they can, because they lose their balance. They're still figuring things out, but eventually they get it. Or when and you're like grow. learning to do anything. Yeah. I remember crazy example. I remember when I first started you uh, playing Xbox, man, people were kicking my butt left and right. Because I was like, because it has two controllers. That was the first time I'd ever experienced something that has two controllers for movement and turning. That takes some getting used yeah. to. And you're just like, you're going up against the wall and you're like yeah. smashing. The, you're looking down and you're doing all this stuff. And I'm like, what? This is not working. What the, I am failing at this. Well, you're not failing at it. You're well, just technically, learning. maybe you are, but you're learning. Yeah. You know, you're learning how to do it. You know, don't play me now. You get yeah. smoked. <laughs> That's hours, hours of <laughs> Xbox. Yeah, but I just, I mean, I think it's really important to just be, remember that your walk with Lord, the Lord is no different than learning anything. Yeah. It, I mean, pick any sort of thing that you've never done before, 
or even if you have done before but you're you're taking it up a level well you have to, there is a period of learning. time of yeah. just learning and you're yeah. going to get frustrated because you, you know it's like you have you're having to break past things and so i think there's just this natural frustration that ends up happening whether mm -hmm. you're playing the piano or anything that you're doing <laughs> there's going to be That's a great example you're going right to have there. moments where you're just like Oh, I'm so frustrated with this, but you keep going. Mm -hmm. And I think that's also very important. You know, don't ever, you know, just leave behind guilt, shame. Like, that doesn't even belong in the conversation. It doesn't even help. It does nothing. It does nothing. It's a hindrance. And just keep moving forward because <clears throat> God is with you. And, and continue to just keep the dialogue open with God because he's, he's right there with you. He's ready to, you know, help. help. You know, it's just, it's just like a baby. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when he's, even when he gets frustrated, it's like... You mean Isaiah? Yeah, yeah. when Isaiah gets frustrated, it's like, it's like, oh, but you're doing so good, buddy. You're doing so good. Because you know, like, he he's learning, he's growing. And... Just on the other side of that frustration, frustration is, is breakthrough. breakthrough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's just going to... And so do whatever he's gonna do. You know? Yeah. So we just wanted to encourage you guys with that. Yeah. That in the maturing and growing, there's gonna be frustration. There's gonna be these moments where you might just be like, I can't do this anymore, but you can mm -hmm. because you have God who's right there with you and and that you are know that you are growing. You are growing because you're having frustration. If you weren't growing, there wouldn't be frustration. Yeah. Because there, you would just be like, "Hey, I'm, I'm good. I'm good," <laughs> and um, just know like yeah. that <clears throat> God is working in you, and and there is just so much that's going to come out of the growth that God is doing, and that He's doing in the so every many. believer's life yeah. that's allowing Him to do it you're going to see maturity and you're going to see the fruit of it. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, that's just what we have for you guys. Um, yeah. Just pray this is an encouragement to you yeah. that um, just keep going. Yeah. Keep pursuing the Lord. Yeah. Well, let's pray for some people. Yeah. Father, we just come to you right now in the name of Jesus and we just pray for a releasing mm -hmm. of freedom yes. upon the hearts of those who will hear this, that you love them. Mm -hmm. And because you love them, they can love themselves in the same manner that you yeah. love them. Mm -hmm. You don't put guilt on them as a motivator. No. You don't put shame on them as a motivator. Mm -hmm. In fact, you deliver us from those things. Yes. Those are the things that the cross and the blood have taken away. So help us to learn in this new way yeah. how you motivate by love. Yeah. Um, how you motivate by reward. Yes. and gentleness and you you lead us in a gentle and kind way and you mm -hmm. reward and give praise to every single step we take by faith yeah. trusting in your character because i just i just pray lord that there would be a release mm -hmm. um <clears throat> from from this bondage mm -hmm. of i've got to figure it out myself yeah i get something from the lord and now i got to run with it and do it yeah. on my own mm -hmm. it's like that is never the way mm -hmm. lord so yeah that's just what i pray i just felt like that there was a need for that to be yeah. prayed or or yeah. said um i agree yeah <laughs> so we just um yeah we'll see you guys again soon yes so wherever we will be yeah <laughs> <laughs> bye guys bye hey everybody it's were you getting ready to say Devin Lavore? <laughs> that was like a Wiggles thing, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Okay. <laughs> uh, funny.